was once a world dominated by dinosaurs. They walked where we walk. They drank the same water. Breathed the same air. And fought on the same battlefields. But then they faced a day that none of us can imagine. Some of the most critical hours in the history of life on Earth. This is the story of the day their world ended. The last day of the dinosaurs. Earth, 65 million years ago. A warmer place than it is today. Along the west coast of what's now North America, mountains tower over a lush, forested valley. It's the domain of the ultimate forms of prehistoric evolution. Dinosaurs. At more than 350 pounds, with a wingspan of 40 feet, Quetzalcoatlus is the largest flying creature of all time. A mile down, a breakfast no carnivore can resist. It will take this tiny hatchling 18 years to become the age's most fearsome predator. But for now, Tyrannosaurus rex is just a few inches tall, not very scary, and completely exposed. But not completely unprotected. The father, a fully grown T-Rex, is on the hunt. His acute sense of smell helps him sniff out prey from great distances, and it also serves him well as a carrot. knows when something is wrong. Quetzalcoatlus's metabolism demands that it eat regularly. Empowering this streamlined body means finding rich sources of protein, like a three-pound baby T-Rex. Quetzalcoatlus's huge wings are perfectly adapted for long-distance gliding. But its sheer size makes it hard to lift off when it's backed into a corner. It's lucky this time. Of the entire clutch of T-Rex eggs, only one chick survives. And if it grows up, it will grow to be 17 feet tall and weigh more than 7 tons. But surviving to adulthood, even for Tyrannosaurus rex, isn't written in stone. Because a storm is coming. Born of events that took place long before. This is the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, 200 million miles away. Billions of rocks all hurtling through space in the same direction, like traffic on a freeway. All, except this one, which is moving diagonally on a completely different course. It's like a 40-mile-wide semi suddenly slicing across the highway. But this truck is going 22,000 miles an hour. The two asteroid 
could shatter into millions of fragments. But this fragment, over six miles across, has a special destiny. It's a rock poised to change history because it's heading for the fifth largest planet in the solar system. The only planet known to harbor life. Planet Earth. Meanwhile, the planet's reptilian lords live completely unaware of what's heading their way. Triceratops are among the most widespread dinosaurs on the North American continent. They're herbivores, but that doesn't mean they're wallflowers. Triceratops take their mating rights very seriously, and at up to six tons each, a face-off can be fatal. This time, intimidation does the trick. But there's another enemy waiting in the wings. He's not after mating rights. The Triceratops is fast and well-armored enough to stand a chance against T-Rex, but not against two of them. Hunting as a pair, one T-Rex could get behind the deadly horns and armored collar. meat here to feed them both for weeks, but they may not have the time to enjoy it. A quarter of a million miles up is the Earth's last hope of defense. The moon has saved the planet before. Its pockmarked surface bears the scars of countless collisions. This crater, known as Tycho, is more than 50 miles wide. Created by a rock only half the size of the one that's on its way. But the moon is rarely in the right place at the right time. Nothing can stop the asteroid now. This cosmic missile isn't as alien as it seems. Like the Earth itself, it's made up largely of rock and water. In the cold vacuum of space, the water freezes into a hard permafrost. But on the inside, there's a chemical cocktail composed of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Key ingredients for life. Asteroid fragments like this one may have provided the building blocks for life on Earth. Life that evolved into dinosaurs. But what gives life can also take it away. Most dinosaurs in the valley hunt and forage during the day and sleep at night. This giant herbivore, an ankylosaurus, keeps one eye open for predators. Under the cover of darkness, very different creatures emerge from their hiding places. Like Masadma, a primitive mammal about the size of a possum. Like most other mammals, Masadma's life is all about being where the dinosaurs aren't. It only comes out at night to forage for tasty roots and insects. While the giants sleep, it's the meek that witness a cosmic event. A meteor shower. Each streak of light is a tiny fragment of the asteroid collision, burning up as it enters the atmosphere. But these are mainly outriders of the much larger missile hurtling through space. An asteroid locked into a head-on collision. The day of reckoning is here. After a journey lasting a hundred million years, an enormous chunk of cosmic rock is approaching the end of the line. And the end of the line is Earth. 
In what is today central Mexico, a herd of Alamosaurus is wandering the plains in search of food. There are recent species to evolve, and even by dinosaur standards, they're huge. They're the last of the sauropods, the biggest animals ever to walk the earth. 70 feet long and a staggering 40 feet tall, Alamosaurus weigh up to 30 tons. To maintain that bulk, they need to eat up to a ton of leaves every day. A vast herd like this one strips the landscape of vegetation in just a few hours. Because she's a nomad on a constant search for food, when it's time for this female to lay her eggs, she doesn't nest. She simply lays eggs in groups of five or six to improve the chances that some will survive. Under normal conditions, only one in 3,000 will produce a mature Alamosaurus. But the odds stacked against these eggs are about to get astronomical. Because now, just 20 minutes away, two trillion tons of rock is racing right at them. The asteroid fragment's enormous mass is only part of the threat. The other part is velocity. But as it gets closer to the planet, the Earth's gravitational pull gets stronger, and the asteroid accelerates past 40 to 45,000 miles per hour. And mass times acceleration equals force. As the asteroid encounters atmosphere, friction turns it into a fireball. Swooping over the Atlantic and aimed at Mexico and the Alamosaurus. It takes just four minutes to cross the ocean. It crushes and superheats the air surrounding it, transforming gas and debris into white hot plasma. At 35,000 degrees, it's burning brighter than a million suns. just five seconds to flash through the atmosphere. Impact seems instantaneous. But hidden within the cataclysm are a series of discrete events invisible to the naked eye, but key to understanding what follows. The asteroid's trajectory is shallow. It flies in at about a 30 degree angle to the surface. This means the full brunt of its destructive power will be thrown to the north of the impact point. Even before the fireball touches down, its sheer brightness in the sky is unimaginable. Five hundred miles from ground zero, the light is so intense, it makes the Alamosaurus flesh seem transparent. And burns flash frames of their shadows onto the ground. The scorching light sears their eyeballs. They have no way of seeing what's headed their way. But they can feel it. An explosive force of a hundred million megatons. More powerful than all the nuclear weapons ever built. 